What's going on crew? This is Ralph back with our in long care. <laughs> Alright guys, got a couple new properties I haven't got to show you. Uh, this is one of the new ones. Of course I striped the side and the back. That fella up yonder mowing on a uh, homeowner simplicity. And it cuts smooth as all get out. I actually like it. But uh, wanted to just sort of show you around this little new property. Bull crap and talk to everybody. Cause I don't do a whole lot of vlog videos. Of course, got to weed eat down the little small dog cage. Planning on doing some landscaping for this lady later on. Uh, not like, not a huge yard, but it's the one that uh, had the log cabin that I did for a few, few months. And uh, she moved over here into the middle of town. Got this small yard. Wanted me to come and make it look pretty for her. So. That's what I did. Of course, the front, you can't see the stripes from this direction because uh, the sun. But End up hitting my phone and calling somebody here in a second. But there's the stripes from this side. All right here. If you can see that gonna do a little bit of landscaping for her here in the front with these bushes I'm gonna try to figure out something pretty to do there I'd say ain't too bad of a ain't too bad of a property though but stand by I'll get right back with you and uh, try to do some more of this vlog and stuff. All right, crew, we're back in the truck heading back down the road uh, just got done showing you that one property that's new that I picked up. I was going to show you the other pro the other property that uh, I picked up. Uh, I think it was last week. Uh, went in, lady called me. Uh, I guess it was about a month ago. Asked how much I would do her yard for, her, and I called her and told her. And uh, they had evidently been having uh, some mower problems and couldn't get the yard mowed. Well, her husband got his uh, rod mower cranked, ended up getting their yard mowed, so they didn't use me. And uh, I'd say called me about a week ago, and uh, the mower gave out again. So they decided to call me again, and I went over and took care of it. I was going to do some video that day, but the husband was home, and she was home, and didn't want to break them into the whole YouTube thing real, real quick. Excuse me. But went over there, done that one again today. They was home again today. Uh, just sort of breaking me into the whole YouTube thing of me uh, videoing the yards and stuff. You don't want to, you don't want to scare people <laughs> as soon as you get a yard and take your camera out there and uh, start videoing something. Some of them you can, some of them you can't, you know. But uh, got it up, got it mowed down pretty nice. I mean, it was probably probably almost a little bit above my calf almost to my knee in some spots and then some spots it wasn't as bad where it's getting a little warmer down here but uh got it mowed up pretty good and uh, wanted to show you some video on it like i said today again cross striped it mowed their backyard and everything super super nice people they uh brought me a glass of gatorade out and i told them I drunk it, you know, I said, well, you know, I usually bring my own stuff, so you ain't got to bring me out water or nothing, but I really appreciate it. Tip me for doing the yard and everything. Hey, they, they're some real good people. But, uh, there's that dang phone going off again. But I just got done mowing that one back there, and as soon as I got off the phone with everybody, or got off the phone, got off the camera with everybody, Nathan called me. I reckon that. <laughs> He's been out mowing his that he does on his own too by himself and <laughs> said he drove past the yard there the other day and uh, or the other day today my gosh I cannot talk that's for you gentry <laughs> I can't talk I'm telling you it's making me too nervous <laughs> I 
I told him I had me a stroke there the other day. That's why I couldn't do nothing. Couldn't talk, couldn't hold the camera right or nothing. <laughs> but I got off the phone with Nathan there just a little bit ago after I set the camera down from showing you that little property. He said he was uh, driving by a house and uh, that he was doing and stuff and a couple of yards down, there was a guy on a uh, old Cub Cadet. The seat wasn't on it. Had him a high back car seat strapped down to her with the uh, the five point harness <laughs> and was uh, using the heck out of it. Had himself strapped into it and everything. I told him, I said, did you get you a picture of it? He said, no, I wish he had. That way we could have threw it on the old Instagram there. Uh, pulling in here to the bank. I'm gonna let these people through and talk for a few more seconds keep doing the old vlog thing and uh, try to get on down the road but let's stop here cash a check or two and get a little bit of money go get some gas and get some oil and get the rest of the day done what's up crew all right just got done with the bank I actually went to go check out the property just a minute ago uh, lady called me stated that she wanted me to come down and check it out and give her a uh, estimate on her yard weekly bi-weekly uh, so I went down there done that she was home of course uh, went and uh, you know checked out the property not too bad of a property it looks like it's all flat that's it'll be about the first yard that we will have that's uh, you know just pretty much flat and uh, it's got a small little enclosed gate in the back uh, with some uh, fencing up. Not too bad to mow though. Actually has a big gate to where we can get the 52s through it. So we won't have to use the, the walk behinds on it. So hopefully, hopefully she'll get back to me and uh, we'll get that one rolling pretty soon. Like I said, tomorrow, Mr. Micah, is uh, going to be out and about with us and uh, going to try to get some video of him weed eating and everything he's he's doing good he's been out with us one day of course he has a full-time job also he works with us there at uh, ems so i offered him a job and uh, he took us up on it so hopefully we can get out and uh, get some video of him out weed eating and things like that it was, uh, it was pretty fun actually having him out there with us the other day. There was three of us running around. We're all buddies anyway. And uh, he got out there and weed eated for us. And, uh, you know, we showed him a few things. Everybody thinks, hey, let's hire this person on. And they'll say, yeah, I know how to weed eat. And he has weed eated before, but we showed him a little bit more about it. Showed him, you know, how we do our weed eating man he picked up on it like that and just took off with it so hopefully we get to do that hopefully we get that new yard hopefully uh, I left her a card and everything with the prices and uh, hopefully I get a text or a call here in a few days saying yeah let's go ahead and start it because that would be awesome we're trying to pick up a little bit more where he's coming on with us we're going to try to get him working with us uh, every day we go out and mow get him a little cash in his pocket too and so hopefully everything works out like that there is one mistake that I've done today I went and got a rock star instead of a monster the uh, non carbonated orange 10 calories with electrolytes so, so we're gonna drink this one go down here mow one of the other big properties got a lot to do today actually got that one to do I got all my other ones done it's almost one o'clock right now uh, still got to go by the dealership and get me an oil filter and some Kawasaki oil for the, uh, the skag that way I can change the oil in it because it's got 15 hours on it right now uh, apparently you change it at 15 hours and then every 50 hours after that so not not too bad not too bad and uh, plus i'm gonna give her a bath grease up all the fittings on it and everything and 
probably take the blades off of sharpening it because it, I've got 15 hours on it so far and I ain't even sharpened the blades, but I tell you, they come with high lift blades on them and you know, I was skeptical at first about high lift blades, but my gosh, them things are amazing. If you ain't got you a set of high lift blades for whatever mower that you have, I recommend getting you a set, trying them out, see how you like them because I absolutely love them. And I, you know, I had a set on my Ferris that I had, that I sold, and uh, it made a world of difference on it. And I tell you where they came on the Skag factory pretty much, where I bought it. My gosh, it, it's just, the cut is so smooth as I, I don't know if you can tell from the videos that we've shot because I ain't got a lot of footage of us mowing with the skags yet, but world, world of difference. So I, I, I highly recommend them, highly recommend them. Uh, you know, if, if I go to buy another set, I haven't tried the Gator Blades yet. Um, that was a, that was the next thing, but I've heard a lot of people around here talking, and uh, you know I've talked to a bunch of other guys around here that went out mowing with them and things like that with the Gator blades. They said they they suck pretty much on uh, wet yards, but like during the fall time with leaves and things of that nature, you throw some of them bad boys on. And you pretty much mulch up the leaves instead of raking them. And we do have a lot of properties that we have to actually go do leaves for during the fall. So uh, I might end up being like purchasing some of those uh, gator blades and you know trying them out and seeing if they mulch up because the way the blade's set up, it's got like little teeth on the back side, you know, on the like sort of like the high lifts, and they're covered up like the high lift, but supposedly they do awesome so oh that's my phone guys i'll get back with you here in a little bit and uh, let you know what's going on going on crew this is our new employee ducking his head running away they called me today and said uh, can you knock down my hay field full of sage if you can uh, tell what we got sort of going on there it's pretty tall grass we're gonna hit the front a little bit for you too I believe the side there 
I think I'll lose my lawnmower. I'm not for sure. Okay. Because there's big ruts through there, so we're just gonna let that be for right now. But we're gonna take the uh, the big 52 skag, and we're gonna see what we can do. minutes of mowing this tall ugly yard to make it a short ugly yard uh, we mowed it all the way up crew Shoo, look at the dust on that thing we'll have to clean her off now mowed it all the way up on five inches he wanted it done around the driveway and a little square for the back as you can tell here, it's not the best cut on it. He's got a lot of sage. If you can tell that, it's hard to hard to break this stuff off and cut it. So there's a lot of spots. It needs probably a good two or three mowings like that to make it look like a, a good workable yard. We're trying to teach him a little bit there. But uh, this is what we call a mow and go. <laughs> you mow it and then you go. You don't blow. You don't edge. But uh, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from the video where I disappeared every once in a while. But we'll walk over here and set the camera down on the ground and let you look backwards. That's about how tall the stuff is. Micah, if you don't mind, sir, walking over in there real quick. That way they can sort of see the the height of the yard. I don't need, I'm gonna call it a field. It's kind of embarrassing, you know what? 
Why is it embarrassing? Shouldn't be embarrassing. About hip height on Micah. And he's about four foot two. Five ten. <laughs> he's five ten. I'm still gonna say four two. But it ain't horrible. It ain't horrible. He just got his house put in not too long ago. And uh, like I said, he's he's working with us now. So we come over here and knock this bad boy down. In the back, he's gonna shoot some fireworks off, set his field on fire. Pretty much. And then uh, won't have to mow it for, what do you say, six, seven months? Because <laughs> it'll all be black. <laughs> but, but we'll catch up with y'all here in a little bit and uh, try to finish this day of logging out. There it is, crew. Had to weed eat most of the front where they've set the trailer. Mowed down the rest of the grass. It's a little bit rough. I ain't got no lies to tell. Micah, he come out and helped me, of course. Like I said, he's one of our, uh, let me get y'all set up here. Uh, he's one of our new employees. So, we're taking on some more jobs and things of that nature, like I was telling you. But, I'm trying to get all my stuff set here. But, we got his done. So I'm back on the way home. And I'm gonna go ahead and knock mine and my neighbors out. About 5.06 in the evening. I didn't get to videotape every yard that I went to today. But, it happens. Uh, a lot of people was actually home, didn't want to jerk out the camera with people home and things of that nature. So there we are on that. But uh, I have to say, the skag against that grass over there impressed me. It did not bog down one single time during the mowing of that whole yard. It took me about 40 minutes to mow that whole back, the front, and uh, to weed eat everything down. So, which Micah helped me with the weed eating. Um, of course, like I said, he's gonna be with us in the morning. Told him to relax. He only come and helped me on that one today and that was his house, of course, so. Uh -oh. Road beat you to death. But, Nathan's got something in the works, I believe. So, I believe we're gonna have a few more yards to pick up, hopefully. Cross your fingers. And uh, that'll help out with Micah coming along and uh, starting to work with us. But, we'll holler back at y'all here in a little bit when we get toward the house. I'm gonna start my own edit. Don't know if I'll videotape it or my neighbors. Because, uh, this video actually might be a little bit long, but there is another little story. Nathan, <laughs> he called me again there a little while ago. He said, I must be on the crazy end of the Tri-Cities. He said, uh, after I seen the little cup cadet and uh, with the, uh, the, <laughs> the uh, car seat with the guy strapped into it mowing his yard. He said, I stopped into the store to get some gas in the mower and uh, a woman went off the bank, nose first there at the store. It's like a big drop off like that. Just went off and poof, down into the down into the bottom there. Got out, went up, sat on the curb, started calling somebody to come get her out. So, I wanted to just tell y'all a little bit about that. But like I said, I don't know if uh, I'll videotape mine at the house. If I do, eh, who knows? Y'all seen it like a thousand times. It looks good every time I, I'm starting to mow it now. All the grass is starting to disappear from uh, from uh, mowing it at the first of the year. So it's uh, it's shaping up pretty good. Can't complain about it. But if I don't see you at the house, I'm probably gonna end the video here. So I'm just gonna give you my little spiel that I always do. Appreciate every one of you stopping by crew the ones that stick in there watch every video that I throw out Told y'all I try to do some more little vlog stuff. Hopefully I will I'm trying to get better at it 
don't know exactly what to do during the whole vlog thing. I don't, I don't like try to, you know, sit down and write anything for anything that we do. But I appreciate all of you coming by. We're we're going on up the up the pole of subs, and uh, still blowing my mind how many people actually come in and subscribe to us. And I appreciate every one of you that do that. If you ain't a member here of the crew, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there below. It's absolutely free. We appreciate it. We're trying to grow the channel and put out content that everybody will like and uh, hopefully make something out of this channel. Hopefully, you know, get up there to, you know, help somebody out that's starting out or whatever. We're not no big business by any means. and. We're, we're trying to work our way work our way there. It's been three years so far, and I think we're doing pretty good. So, uh, yeah, come back to join us, guys, girls. Become a member of the crew if you ain't a member. For those that are the crew that sit here and watch us every day, I appreciate you. And if you watch our videos, you're 50% more attractive. If you subscribe to us, you're 100% more attractive. And I believe the last time I looked, we got 452 100% attractive people out there. So we're making everybody beautiful. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. And until next time, if I don't get any video of the house, getting it mowed and all that stuff, we'll catch y'all out there mowing.